My name is Kyle Kawika Harris. I am from Spiro, Oklahoma, but I live currently in Blanchard, Oklahoma. I am a public relations director for the Delaware Nation, and I'm a filmmaker. I've done 11 short films in the last couple of years. I done some music videos in New Mexico for a band in LA. I've also done two feature length documentaries. Um, one was called The Return to the Homeland, The Water Gap. Um, it dealt with tribal youth going back to their ancestral homelands. And then I just recently finished a film in Standing Rock, North Dakota, that dealt with the Standing Rock Sioux Nation and the opposition to the Dakota Access Pipeline. And Currently, I'm done with that one. It's just finishing up in post-production, but then I'm also moving forward right now on a screenplay that I wrote for a feature film this fall. Standing Rock was interesting. Um, okay, I'm Native American. I have it, in, you know, the uh, Choctaw Nation, working with the Delaware Nation. My mother's Hawaiian. Um, but even I, like even having tribal liaison badges and stuff like that, and um, I had a hard time there. We had some equipment get broken there. Um, I guess uh, there's this heightened, there's a sense of str there's stress in the camp there and I think they have this sort of outlook towards white people that um, maybe they're infiltrators or they're FBI or they're police, you know, trying to infiltrate the camp to see if there's drugs in the camp or alcohol in the camp so they can find a reason to come in there and bust the camp. So we, we got a lot of that while we were there. A lot of um, questions that I thought were kind of inappropriate. And after, I was there for eight days and first three days I spent in camp and after the third day I was like, I'm kind of done with this place. Um, there was a lot of stuff that was going on there that I, you know, working with the tribes for so long now, over five years, that, you know, felt like home. But there was a lot of rules there in camp. And one of those rules as a documentary filmmaker, I'm there to make a film, well, one of the things that we found out when we got there that we didn't know before we got there was there's no filming with like really within camp. So there's no like recording of ambient noise, there's no recording songs, singing, prayers, dances, powwows, anything. So none of that's it's all off limits. And I and I asked the question, you know, well I've seen a lot of this stuff on Facebook, a lot of you know cell phones and stuff like getting on this footage and they're like, well most of that stuff's like direct actions that are taking place, you know, and during um I guess marches and stuff like that or uh, peaceful protests and and they're trying to confiscate a lot of those videos and stuff like that and get them offline and stuff. But uh, that's what they were telling me there. And But I had a film to make, so I went into the town on the remaining days and to, um, basically I spoke with a bunch of tribal elders in the town. And um, I spoke with the Sitting Bull College and they allowed us to bring out the visitor center and um, just invited a bunch of people from like the churches and stuff to come talk to me, to, you know, talk to us. And um, so they came and we, we got a lot of stuff and mixed that with all, a lot of the B-roll and stuff and a lot of the protests that we went to and the direct actions and the youth council stuff and, and it just kind of came together, 60 minute doc. There is a lot of, there's a lot of artists there, um, a lot of painters and stuff like that there. There was a side of the camp that sort of just dealt with that and people would come and, and spend a lot of their money building these big pieces of art there and like these big just walls of this wood and they'd paint it and stuff like that and they would take them to these protests and they, or they're building these bridges and stuff and just putting artwork all over it and it was just that was kind of neat to see that I mean the amount of time that they were putting into that stuff um, I think the biggest thing that I thought was that the camp it was like a city it was like an operating city so you had I mean these semis were driving in these big things of wood and they were just dumping it out and people were just coming out with chainsaws and you know cutting the wood and and then they were like moving the wood and and people could come and then just grab the wood and take it back to their campsite you know it was, so it was, everybody was like doing stuff for the camp it wasn't for themselves um, so they had like these tents uh, full of like clothes you just come down there and pick out clothes that you needed I look for the human stories I look for the stuff that's important um, I was sitting in my office one day, I was watching all these videos last year, probably in October, and I guess it had been going on since April, but I, I was sitting there watching these videos at my desk one day, and I was, I was like, why am I not there? Why am I not you know, capturing this footage better? I, it's, it's painting camp in sort of a, this negative kind of atmosphere, and 
it seems like the only thing that's kind of really going on there is this 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 um, opposition, these two forces butting heads, you know, the police and the tribes and stuff. And I thought, uh, you know, you need a, there needs to be a professional team there capturing it. And of course, there there were multiple different people there filming different things for different reasons, and and everybody has a you know, it's all subjective, so everybody has a different take on how they're going to film this or that. But like I try to capture like the art and stuff and more of the spirituality and things and um, try to find the more gentle side of stuff. I don't want to, my focus is not the violence like you, we see on TV or, or on, the, on the Facebook pages and stuff. I've written eight feature films and none of them have been produced. Not, you know, I've not published, I've written a novel. Um, I do a lot of writing, lots of writing. Written a bunch of films and now I'm in the process of producing them because now I've earned enough awards, I've won enough awards, I've made enough films where the community sort of sees that I'm not going away. And that's basically how filmmaking works, I've learned. It's not about, um, you know, making Hollywood just notice me. It's a, Hollywood is about creating opportunities.